God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The likeness of his light is as a niche wherein is a lamp, the lamp in a glass, the glass as it were a glittering star, kindled from a blessed tree, an olive that is neither of the east nor of the west. The Imam of all mosques and the grandest of mosques in Africa the center of science, whose name was taken from the Quran. Al Zaytuna Mosque, the beating heart of Green Tunisia, which was established in 79 AH by the Arab conqueror Hassan bin al Nu'man. It was expanded in 116 AH by order of the leader Ubaidullah ibn al-Habhab to become the second greatest mosque in Africa after the great mosque of Kairawan, hiding within its corners arts and aesthetics. The beauty of Al Zaytuna Mosque does not stop at its doors and its glamorous geometric shape. The hermitage is exquisite, majestic and impressive in its square shape. The mihrab, however, is what distinguishes it most, as it was ornamented with very delicate decorations. It is considered a unique model of Islamic architecture's early centuries. Arabic calligraphy and colored glass were used to cover the place with different colors. creating an artistic painting and carrying within its corners stories from a bygone time. Despite the splendor of Al Zaytuna Mosque, simplicity is present through carpeting it with Tunisian mats. Luxury is seen in the chandeliers scattered along the length of the mosque. and the decoration that fills the areas. All this beauty can only be perfected with Arabic calligraphy, which became a major part of mosque decoration. You can find it on wood carving and on paintings that tell the history of this ancient mosque with a harmonious artistic rhythm. A 
Al Zaytuna Mosque was the focus of caliphs and princes who succeeded in Africa. Everyone served this ancient edifice. And the mosque became the focus of everyone in all times and epochs. However, the fingerprints of the majority prevailed. Regarding it following the Great Mosque of Kairawan, These fingerprints provided elements that distinguish it from other mosques. Therefore, Al Zaytuna has been constantly subject to numerous restorations and improvements. The architecture and its beautiful details was not the only special thing about Al Zaytuna Mosque. Rather, its civilizational and scientific leading roles in the Arab and Islamic world. As it took the concept of the university since its foundation and its libraries, which were subjected to calamities, formed a starting point for spreading culture in the Maghrib. It contained many books and manuscripts, and the first school of thought in Africa was established within it. It spread a clear scholarly spirit and an innovative approach to tracking issues critically and carefully. Al Zaytuna University did not settle for being a beacon that shines knowledge and thought onto the world. And contributes to the process of creativity and progress.
Al-Zaytuna University is one of the oldest Arab institutes, and it is comparable to the noble Al-Azhar Mosque and Al-Qarawiyyin Mosque in North Africa. Among others, as thousands of scholars, reformers, and poets had graduated from Al Zaytuna. Days and years pass by, and Al Zaytuna Mosque remains. Proud of its history that has embraced science and religion. sitting in the middle of the antique markets that are full of traditional crafts. It is in fact a mirror of Tunisian society and a beacon of the Arab Islamic identity in that country. The people's hearts there beat in the spirit of Al Zaytuna Mosque. With a mentality that builds on the moderation of this mosque. openness and its tolerance. 